Eleanor. Hey, do you notice anything different about Grandma? Ooh, she looks kind of weird, doesn't she? What happened to Grandma's hair? Oh, it's all cut off. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. A new haircut for Grandma and a new story for you. I found a really cute book. I've never seen it until just last week. It's called Alice the Fairy by David Shannon. Oh, I have read other stories from David Shannon. He's a good author. Oh, look what she's doing. This must be Alice. She's chasing a frog with her magic wand. Oh, boy. Alice the Fairy by David Shannon. Hi, my name is Alice the Fairy. I'm not a permanent fairy. I'm a temporary fairy. You have to pass a lot of tests to be a permanent fairy. I have wings so I can fly, but I can't fly very high yet. But I can fly really fast. Oh boy, look at that. There she goes. This is my magic wand. There it is. And this is my blanket. Fairies use magic wands to change frogs into princes and things like that. I changed my dad into a horse. Oh boy. <laughs> He's giving her a horsey ride, isn't he? Is he really a horse? <laughs> He's pretending to be. One time, my mom made cookies for my dad. And so I turned them into mine. Oh, boy. Cookies for dad. Turned into cookies for Alice. <laughs> I felt bad about the cookies, so I thought I would whip up a new outfit for my dad. Did I tell you he's the Duke of Morningside Drive? Well, he is. And this is what she was wishing to make him. She would like to make him a plaid velvet shirt and gold, oops, what is this called? Gold sparkly pants. And purplish pink shoes, that's her favorite color. But clothes were too hard, so I made him a crown instead. Oh, what a pretty crown. <gasps> Look at that, she put buttons on it and macaroni. And that looks like glitter. Oh, cool. With my magic wand, I can make leaves fall down from trees. And I can draw pictures on the water. Ooh, pretty pictures in the water. Sometimes I use my magic wand to disappear. Oh, look what she's going to do. There's the light switch. But it's too scary. I'd rather use my blanket. Oh, look at that. She's disappearing under her blanket. Of course, I also have a magic mirror. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who's the fairest of them all? Why, what do you know? It's Alice. It's me. Thank you, mirror. Fairy dust is very useful. I use it to turn oatmeal into cake. Hmm. Fairy dust, huh? Casting spells is another important part of being a fairy. Watch me make my dog float on the ceiling. Hocus pocus, dokin dokus. Oh, he's still sitting there. Hauken tauken, riggin falcon. He's hanging, holding up his paw. Dog and flog and biddle noggin. Oh, she's getting mad and he's still sitting there. Okay, that one needs a little more work. 
but a fairy must be very careful with magic. Once I accidentally turned my white dress into a red one. Oh no, look. <gasps> she spilled red juice and it went all over her dress. <gasps> oh, that made the Duchess so mad that she locked me in the tower forever. I got away anyway. I got away though. A fairy's life is filled with danger. Broccoli is often poisoned by a wicked duchess and should never be eaten. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I love broccoli. Hmm. Fairies also hate to take baths. I'd like to turn my bath water into strawberry jello. That would be fun. But I don't know how yet. You have to be a permanent fairy to do tricks like that. And they go to advanced fairy school to learn how. Oh, look at all the permanent fairies flying to the castle to fairy school. I'm supposed to learn how to make clothes get up off the floor and dance around the, and line up the, in the closet. Oh, look at that. She's got her magic wand trying to make the clothes go into the closet magically. I'm not very good at that yet. Oh boy, look what she's reading. She's reading a story about a frog prince. I know that story. Maybe I should read that one next, <laughs> next week. Oh, <laughs> Oh, she found a real frog. I bet she's trying to turn him into a prince. And she says, I'll probably be a temporary fairy forever. <laughs> oh my goodness, didn't she have fun? And that's the story of Alice the fairy. Oh, there she is trying to catch the frog. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that story. Did it give you some ideas of some fun things that you can do? Ah, cool. Well, Grandma loves you. I hope you have a nice day. Bye-bye. <laughs>